hello everyone it's been a hot minute since i filmed uh in my room back home but that is because i am currently on spring break and this is the start of yet another uh walt disney world travel series i know you're like wasn't this girl just there like a month or two ago i was um, I went the beginning of this year in January with my friend Jeanette, and now it's spring break, and I'm going with my friend Maddie. Uh, I'm so pumped, so excited, and we leave tomorrow. Well, we're flying there separately because we're coming from different states, but we leave and we get there tomorrow. So, I'm super pumped. Uh, I decided I would share with you guys what's in my park bag. Uh, one, because I love these videos. I think besides vlogs, um, what's in my park bag is like some of my favorite videos when it comes to uh, Disney trips because it's fun seeing what other people bring. And also, now that I went just a few months ago, I know what I need in my bag and what I don't. So I'm not overpacking. I didn't overpack in January, but I do feel like I had a couple things where it was like, mm, I could have lived without it. But anywho. For our trip, we are doing four full days, one park per day, and I am bringing my Disney Loungefly backpack. Um, this is a staple, a classic. So many people have these. This is my only Loungefly backpack. I love all the designs, but I only really have the need for one. Um, I did bring a fanny pack with me on my last January trip, but I preferred having my backpack with me, so I'm just bringing this guy. Uh, it holds a lot of stuff, it's very spacious, so without further ado, I guess we will jump into first what's on the outside of it, and then we'll jump into the inside. First here, I just have this Chippendale keychain that I got at the Disney store a few years ago. I put it on here one day because I use this backpack for work when I'm home, and it never came off. I meant to take it off for my last Disney trip, but I never did, and it made it through. So they're just going to stay on, they're just chilling, having a good time. Then on the main part of the backpack zippers, I of course have hand sanitizer. I currently have crisp morning air on here. I might switch it out for something more spring summery. Um, I'm gonna have to take it off anyways to get through TSA and everything, but here it is. And then I have this magic guy that is a, duh, that's a Minnie Mouse ear holder. Um, I've got these guys on right now. I'm only bringing one pair of ears with me for one day, so I'll probably just keep this in my backpack until that day. But you slide it up, you slip the ears in, and then you bring this down, and it holds them in place really well. I got them from Jeanette and I when we went back in January, and honestly, they were a lifesaver. I only really wore my ears to two parks, but when I didn't want to wear them, this guy came through. So I got this from an Etsy shop. If I can find a link, I'll link it down below. We'll see. Uh, so then I am going to dive into the front pocket right here. So Loungefly backpacks do have some two little side pockets. They do come through for like sunglasses. Um, if I don't wanna wear my sunglasses, but I want easy access, I'll usually put them on the side, um, especially like my like cheap $10 ones. But in the front pocket, this is where I have kind of like the emergency essentials. So for starters, my lip balm my lips once they're chapped i need lip balm immediately so that hangs out in the front pocket so it's very easy access i have a little package of tissues which actually came through for my january trip so not leaving these behind of course i've got some band-aids in here never know when you're gonna need them blisters happen i'm bringing good shoes with me but they happen so want to keep those I've got in pads, of course. You guys don't need to see that. Um, but again, you never know when you need it. I've got eyeglass wipes for my glasses or sunglasses when you need to cleanse them. I've got a ponytail. Very important to have one of these on hand. And last but not least, I'm, well, I can take it out. I've got space. A poncho. It's supposed to rain at least one of the days that we're there, so ponchos are very important. I've got more I'm bringing with me, but this one's going to stay in my backpack um, and I will use her when need be. I don't know how long I've owned this poncho, probably a hot minute. Now in the main compartment, um, there's quite a bit of space in here and I did not use a lot of it. I used maybe a third of the space in here. So 
If I want to get like a t-shirt or a slightly larger souvenir, I've got space in here. Really not planning on getting anything larger, but you know, you never know until you're there, especially with flower and garden. Epcot's going to be taking my money. So to go ahead and jump in here, for starters, I have an extra pair of socks in here. You're probably like, why do you need an extra pair of socks? Well, um, like I said, it's supposed to be raining for at least one of the days that we're there. And my mom actually gave me this idea um, to bring some extra pairs of socks. I mean, I usually do, but these are specifically for, you know, if it's raining, my shoes aren't waterproof that I'm bringing with me, especially my Nikes. Like once I step in a puddle, donezo, done for freezing feet, cold feet. So I've got an extra pair of socks that I will have with me every day because I've got the space for it, uh, just in case, you know, it's pouring and I step in some puddles, I will at least have dry socks. Then of course, Tylenol, very important thing to have. Some extra sunscreen to bring with me into the parks in case we need some reapplication. Sunglasses, essential, always need these. Um, and then I may or may not bring my glasses in with me. It'll depend on the day. I did recently get contacts um, and I really only need it for distance, but it'll depend on if I'm wearing my contacts that day or if I'm not. But honestly, I never wore these when I went in January. So I'll probably just wear my contacts or not bring these at all. But of course, I'm going to be bringing them on the trip with me overall because I mean glasses. My film camera, this is a Bell and Howell camera. I used quite a bit of my last film roll when I went to Disney World in January and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, the film I have in here is outdoors, so like when it's nice and sunny, I can get a bunch of pictures. I only really got mostly Hollywood Studios and a few Magic Kingdom pictures. So having my backpack, I'll be able to take pictures every day and I'm bringing an extra film roll and this one's pretty much full. I think I have 36 photos on each one and I'm only at number three right here. So I can get a lot of fun pictures on film, which I'm so excited for. Um, this is my new hobby. I'm still not great at it, but it's just for funsies. Portable charger, very, very important. Wallet, arguably the most important. Another ponytail that snuck into here and some extra masks. And yeah, that is everything that is going to be in my park bag. I have not quite yet decided if I'm going to bring um, a reusable uh, water bottle or if I'm just going to buy water in the parks. I've got the room in here for either to carry them around. Uh, but I will figure that out as I pack, which I'm going to do after this video. So thanks so much for watching this video and seeing what's in my Disney park bag. I'm super excited for this trip. So after this, expect a packing video and then all the fun vlogs. It's going to be such an amazing trip, even though it's going to be insanely crowded because it's spring break. We're still going to have a good time and make the best of it. So thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.